old. Me, I'm in a t-shirt. Start with Susan. I'm in a t-shirt and a scarf. And Maddie's up. Ooh. Filling up nets so I can put them in the stables. It's gonna rain again for the rest of the week. So it's just a way of keeping some hay dry. And these are going through a rain bale every week. My lovely mum has bought me this one. Thank you, mum. I'm going to see her tonight, actually, in a play. Do you remember me saying that she was learning lines? And that's why we'd put the bench in so she could learn them. Well, at the minute she is... Oh, what's her name? She's Betty Davis. That's the one. So it's a play about Bette Davis and Joan Crawford. I think it's about their relationship, how much they didn't like each other. So yeah, I'm gonna watch that today. I might actually take you with me. <laughs> Can you imagine what they'll be before walking with my gimbal? That nice dream. I do like taking you places with me though. That's probably weird too. Sorry if I'm rambling. Probably thinking, oh, a crazy woman. And there's people walking past with their dogs thinking, look at this crazy woman. She's talking to her phone. Yeah. You know what? You should try talking to a camera. At first, I found it really quite weird. It's not the most natural thing to do. But now, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> and I don't know if many of you actually watch this. Well, if you do, thank you. And I think even if just one person watches it and thinks, oh, that's nice, bit of entertainment. Entertainment, is this entertainment? Hay and horses. Most people would think that was quite boring. Yes, if you find this boring stuff entertaining, you're as crazy as me. <laughs> so, yeah. What are we doing this week? I don't even know. Put that there because it keeps whacking off my chin. Yeah, so what are we doing this week? I don't even know. We've got the new IBC in, so that's fantastic. Um... We need to sort out the guttering for the back of the stable. Um, when we did our first video about the guttering, that was like our second ever video. <laughs> yeah, so um, when I did that video, I said that we'd spent £75. We had, but it wasn't just for that one side. It was for the both sides. So we've got all the stuff to do the guttering on the back of the stables as well. So we're going to get moving on that this weekend. If it's not too wet and raining and miserable. Fingers crossed. I really want to paint the stables. They look so dismal. And I've got a big thing of creosote. So, um... Yeah, I've got a big thing of creosote. It's a bit of a weird colour. I have no idea where it came from. Actually, that's a lot. Sure, I'll go from Wilkinson's when it was closing down. I miss Wilkinson's. Yeah, so I'm going to paint it with that. I've only got one can, though. It's quite a big, it's like a five litre one. So it might do the outside. It might do. Might, it, well, it will do most of the outside. So that's, I'm going to have a go at that soon. Don't know if it'll be this week too wet but we'll see you never know otherwise that's coming up in the future mm. i want to plant a load of trees which you know we're doing this on a budget and just having them having the funds to buy trees that that's not easy oh but i have set up a um Oh, what's it called, Tom? I have set up a Buy Me A Coffee account. Link's in the description. 
And um, so if you want to help get some trees or I'd love some like hedge rows, extra hedge rows, because number one, I want to try and stop the mud. And at the minute, all the um, rainwater just runs off these fields at the back. So that's why this field is so wet. Um, yeah, so I'd love to put some hedgerows all the way down there. Very expensive though. I'm sure it's like £50 for like 20 little bare root stems. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Like I was saying, um, I've set up a buy me a coffee account. If you want to help with that, that would be amazing. Um, trees. I'm going to see if I can find some saplings around this place because there are a lot of trees here already. And I know, I know that trees do drop saplings. And with it being a working farm, um, I'm sure the farmer wouldn't want saplings sprouting up everywhere. So I'm going to see if I can find some and then I can relocate them here. That would be good. We've got another cover coming for the IBC container that we're putting last week. So that's got to go on. But there's no water in there at the minute. And without water in there, they don't need a cover on if they haven't got water in. All the cover does is stop the water going green. That's all. So lovely just watching these eating. <laughs> Are you just eating, Dopey? Is it nice? Ooh. Yeah, so... um. I think I've rambled enough. I'm going to take this hay and put it in the stable. Then I guess I need to go home and get ready for mum's play tonight. I'm definitely taking you with me. Last time I like, I took a photo in there and I got, I got told off. So I uh, probably won't get so much footage. But uh, we'll see how we do. Hmm. Come with me then. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to take this hay net into the stable. Yeah, I need to find all of my hay nets. Yeah, so uh, I need to find all my hay nets so I can put loads of hay just in here. They'll like that. They'll find that later. <sighs> this is going to be difficult. unexpected the farmer has just given us a caravan <laughs> oh how kind um yeah so it's a really old one someone had left it yeah it looks like it's been broken into multiple times oh have a look what it looks like inside oh my word well it's a bit dark and uh quite messy but wow thank you <laughs> oh the door is pretty broken And it was quite difficult to get it through the gate and onto here because it's so well it's not it's not too muddy now it's drying out quite a bit but it is still muddy let's have a look at the other side oh 
well, I wonder what Bruce is going to think of that then. He has always wanted a caravan. Oh, he's going to want to sleep down here, bless him. He'll think he's camping. I wonder what fabulous things we could do with this then. Well, we now have a caravan. <laughs> oh, what do you think of that dream? bottom on we've just got here to the Barlow Theatre which is the Albury Rep in Albury and we've come to see my mum Carol in the play that she's in today which is Bet and Joan and she is Bet Davis and it's a play about Bet Davis and Joan Crawford and their relationship so here is the Barlow Theatre good footage and I'm sitting here now in the lounge with most incredible actress my mom here Carol Dickey and the beautiful John Quite like wow. like that. That. I've still got a bit of the white paint. Did you enjoy yourselves, ladies? We Absolutely. Did. We yeah. Oh my Loved gosh. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I think it's so my favourite cool. role today. Yeah. That was a lot of words that you had to learn. Yes, it was. The whole book between yeah. Have yeah. you ever had to learn that many words no. before? I don't think so. But I haven't. Almost as much when I did my sister. Margaret. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever. I've never done an, a two hander before where it's just two of us. So. It was lovely, lovely experience. It was wow. Fun. Wow. Well, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, the few minutes that I got while I was being told off for filming, <laughs> hopefully, they're great. You need to do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'm telling you, don't forget.